All right, so the next topic I want to get into is uh, talking about the difference between shape and form. Um, they're obvious uh, to most people, but they do have like a practical application in drawing. So, um, like a shape, say, would be a triangle. It exists as a two two dimensional thing on on a page. A form would be like uh, a tetrahedron four triangles put together the simplest three-dimensional shape um, with uh, with planes um, another one to talk about would be a circle right uh, that is definitely a shape but when you're drawing you know uh, when you're drawing a sphere, how do you make it a sphere? You have to have some something to make that circle become dimensional, and you might use something like, you know, a shadow core on the sphere itself. And you might have an actual shadow, right? So that takes a shape and turns it into a form. So the difference between these two drawings is that the shape exists on the outside, on the contour, and the form exists uh, within the shape and uh, outside of the contour as well, in the shadow and in the context. So whenever you're drawing, really what you're looking for uh, is anything that will clue you into form that's uh, really, really important. So right here I'm looking at the, uh, at the crow again and I'm seeing that this value uh, right here pops the form of the leg forward where the leg kind of like meets, uh, meets the body and is hidden by the feathers a little bit. So ideally what you're working on throughout this whole process is um, uh, essentially creating a form in space rather than a shape on the page. Like if I had started this drawing and just like gone over the outline again and again and again, um, I'd be creating the shape of a, of a raven and not the form of it. So it's really the, the forms that, uh, that bring these things to life. What I'm doing right now with the values, I'm taking the uh, the B pencil and kind of filling in some of the texture to change the value, rather than uh, adding more of this uh, the soft like five B look, which is kind of cool. It's a slightly different approach. Most people would say, you know, just use your soft pencil to get to get some darks in there but uh, really you can use anything um, and then the different types of pencils will actually create like uh, different tones um, 
as you go along. Uh, there'd be warmer and cooler tones, stuff that's more silvery, um, stuff that's uh, that's more matte, stuff that's shinier. All right, so you can kind of see this this drawing uh, developing a little more. Um, let's uh, let's move on to a slightly different concept that has a lot to do with uh, with shape and form.